I'm here. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm here with Benjamin at the Windy City Rails Conference in Chicago. And uh, Benjamin is involved with the New Haven Ruby community and the Iowa City Ruby community. You're, mm -hmm. Right now you're in Iowa. Yep. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing now and maybe also how that compared to what you were doing in Connecticut? Sure. Well, um, I helped start the Iowa City Ruby community uh, about four years ago with some other uh, mm -hmm. great people. And um, I moved to New Haven. Uh, and I'm just now coming back, so I got a lot of experience while I was in New Haven running a group. Um, mm -hmm. There was one that kind of died off, and you know we're bringing in some of the same experience we had there, like having a site and using Meetup, was, mm -hmm. which is actually very, very helpful for us yeah. versus just having a mailing list. And like, we've done a lot to get more jobs and stuff like listed on our site, and have that be a place people actually go and talk. And I don't know, for the most part, like we've gotten really consistent where we have. A meetup every two weeks, yeah. and uh, I'm really hoping to bring a lot of that same stuff over to the Iowa City group uh, because right now it's definitely a lot smaller, yeah, because uh, it's a smaller area, and like you know, Connecticut, it's right next to New York. We'd have people come up for that, right? I mean, Iowa City is close enough to Chicago that sometimes I'm, maybe people would come over, <laughs> maybe yourself, but yeah, you know, maybe maybe not, but yeah, they're surprisingly close is a relative term. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I mean, it's not a train right away yet. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> But, um, no, for the most part, like, New Haven isn't incredibly technical. I mean, mm -hmm. Iowa City's actually around the same level, believe it or not. Really? Um, but, yeah, it's really just kind of about, you know, you have these communities just to bring people together. Yeah. And that makes a big difference just being around other people, like, at a conference like this, you yeah. know, just being able to talk to so, somebody and so how get long experience. So how long have you been running the group at, in Iowa again? Um, I started about four years ago with okay. a guy that's now at Twitter. Oh, so, okay, yeah. but um, but it, that was you're you're in Iowa now, but mm -hmm. you were in Connecticut before, so you've been running a group for about four years. Yeah, some other uh, great people. One is uh, Denny. Um, he's at the university, and then a guy by the name of Wesley Berry. He works at okay. Heroku right now. He's taken on a lot of it, and then I'm stepping back in and helping him out and okay. growing great. up. So. so what? I mean, you were saying that the the technical levels of the two communities seem to be on par. But Similar, yeah. Was there was there um, a major cultural shift between yeah. Connecticut versus Iowa City? or Yeah, I mean, Iowa City is a little more kind of like... I mean, there's definitely a personality difference. There's really, I mean, people, Ruby and Solover are really kind of similar. Really? You know, <laughs> like, which is nice because, like, they're mostly nice. And, yeah. you know, there's kind of a stereotype that's sometimes true that Connecticut... Or Connecticuters are sometimes like, uh, get, get out of my way, I'm driving yeah, here or yeah. something. But no, if you, get, if you sit down with people, like, they're all awesome. Right? Yeah. I always like talking to new Rubyists. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it, it, the Ruby community for me has also been very, very mm -hmm. positive. Um, but, but as far as um, getting people to come out to the meetings, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've noticed between being in the suburbs and being mm -hmm. in the city, and I've heard di between just different cities. and Yeah, the, like in Iowa City, they don't use Twitter as much, I've noticed, yeah. which was a big thing for us. So communication has had mm -hmm. been a little different. Mm -hmm. okay. and, uh, and also, as, as far as um, not, not the technical skill, mm -hmm. uh, but the industries that the people are coming out of or working in, yeah. I mean, how is there a, a different, uh, like, almost comparing, like, a Java group to a Ruby group? There's got to mm -hmm. be... Like, are they working in the same kind of industry? Do you have a lot of people that are, like, working at startups maybe in Connecticut? Yeah, yeah there, were definitely, there were definitely some more startups. I mean, I, I still work for a startup in mm -hmm. Connecticut. They uh, let me take my I drive along with me, which mm -hmm. was really nice. Um, and I City, there's more, like, education stuff, like mm -hmm. Pearson's there, uh, Pearson, like, textbook company and stuff yeah. like that. And they have uh, some Ruby involvement. And, yeah, but, yeah, definitely more startups, I'd, I'd say, in, in Connecticut. Okay. Uh, but that's starting to change in Iowa, which is exciting for me, and that's something I want to help build out. So. Yeah. And uh, and you do you do a biweekly meeting, you said? Uh, in New Haven, we do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in Iowa City, it's right now every three weeks, which is okay. a little confusing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, which is, is it the beginning of the month or the end of the month this, yeah. this time? Yeah. yeah, right. And uh, I still have really close ties to everybody in mm -hmm. uh, New Haven, and I really want us to like be able to collaborate where uh, we've done some by or like. We've gotten together for Google Hangouts before, mm -hmm. uh, so we had a, a, the guy that wrote um, 
design patterns in Ruby. He's, his name's escaping me right now. I, I know which book you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so we, uh, he came uh, and okay. did a Google Hangout with us and uh, the, the Ruby's uh, Iowa City Ruby group and mm-hmm. then the New Haven group. And so we're trying to kind of keep the same schedule. We did that as like a joint meeting? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, that, I mean, there's a few hours difference. Uh, just an hour. Yeah. Oh, just an hour. Yeah. 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 yeah so. Uh, Eastern time versus uh, Central time. Yeah, so it's only one hour. So. Yeah, and it, was, and it was cool. So, like, we read the book, and then we talked about it, and the author was there, and he took some questions. And, Thanks. you know, we want to keep doing stuff like that and collaborate yeah. because running a user group is hard, and it's hard to keep up the momentum. And if we can work together, it's a lot easier. So. Have you worked out, has there been a difference in approaching sponsors? I mean, some different communities I've heard have different levels of, of uh, mm-hmm. receptive, receptiveness to sponsoring. Do you, do you work with... Um, so, in New Haven, uh, there were there were some very vocal members that were against even having job postings, uh, which I think is a vital thing because if we're going to have a Ruby community, we have to have people that can survive yes. being Rubyists. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was a point of contention uh, a few times until we finally just made it official. No, you can have job uh, postings, yeah. but really. As far as sponsors have ever gone, um, I mean, we've done O'Reilly books. Those are easy mm-hmm. to get. But um, for the most part, it's just like different companies, they want to help build the local Ruby community and they help push it forward. And that's why the groups are around because it's really about the members. So That's great. Well, thank you uh, for taking yeah. the time to talk with me, Ben. Definitely. Appreciate it.